xCloud. Yes, the latest edition of WordPress hosting management. This is really exciting for me since it's a next-gen cloud control panel that is designed right for you to streamline your hosting management and make your WordPress website lightning fast. Looks promising to me as this software is made by none other than WP developers and our own founder has also invested in it. So why wait? Let's see what we can get inside xCloud. The first thing you will see when you log into xCloud is this clean and minimal dashboard. From here, if you click add new, it will start creating your first server. What I found pretty awesome about xCloud is that you can either bring your existing cloud server from platforms like Vulture, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, or from any VPS servers, or you can choose a new hosting that is managed by xCloud. And I guess this is a handy option for all the tech and non-tech people out there. Okay, I already have a Vulture account, so let's see if xCloud can take care of this. So I'm selecting my existing Vulture account with the Vulture API key and cool, my Vulture account has just been verified. Let's give the server a name and set the server size. And about server sizes, Vulture is offering you a tremendous number of plans starting from just $5. Pick the one that suits you most. Then comes the server location, which you may choose based on your audience. I'm going to choose Los Angeles as my location. Let's keep everything else as default and see what comes next. Oh, cool. xCloud has already started setting up my test server and it's all automatic. Uh, now, it may take a while. In the meantime, you will get a glimpse of what's going on in the background of the setup process. All right, our test server is all set in the xCloud. The next thing is to do is to set up a new site. But before that, let's see what we can get in the server management panel. Up here, we have a quick summary of our just created server. As you can see, the server provider is Vulture, the IP address, server location, and it's also showing the real-time disk usage. Hmm, that's sleek. Now, if you are up for a fresh WordPress website, you can just install it from here or clone your Git repository, or you can even simply migrate your existing one into xCloud. There are a couple of more options to check out. You can also monitor your server performance, check server logs and events, and manage server utilities like rebooting my SQL and Nginx from this very panel. But let's create the site first. So just click this green button and create a new one. Here you go. Let's give a site title, then add a tag. It's optional though. Now here you can see you have two options. You can either go live if your site is all set to be up and running, or you can set a staging environment if your site is not ready or it needs some fine tuning. And that's pretty neat and helpful feature indeed. If you choose go live, then you have to provide your domain name and xCloud will verify it and proceed next. Or if you choose staging environment, an auto-generated domain will be set. Now here is the kicker. Whatever plan you are using, xCloud gives you 100 free emails every month to kickstart your business. But you can toggle it off if you want to add a different email provider. Okay, everything's good to go. Time to move forward. Great. My site is booting up and yes, here you go. Um, this is the site control panel of xCloud. Now, if you take a look at the sidebar, you will see plenty of site management features xCloud is offering here. You can switch staging, set SSL, or even update plugins and themes of your site. And good thing is that xCloud is offering automatic backup in both remote and local settings. Now, if you can take a look at the email provider, there is an option to add new email provider like Mailgun API, SendGrid, and others. Apart from this, you can check your site configuration, site logs, access details, and pretty much everything that is needed to manage a site. Now, another exciting feature is the magic login, which will give you the direct access to the freshly built website without requiring a username and the password. The action dropdown is basically a shortcut to purge caching, clone site, or even delete it if needed. And yeah, that seems a good package. Now, let's take a look what else xCloud has to offer. On the dashboard, you will find the total count of active servers and sites. Currently, it indicates one active server that I just created for this video. 
However, you have the option to create additional servers right from here. Same goes for the sites. Simply click on the new site, then choose an existing server, and the rest of the process is exactly the same. So as they say, create as many servers and sites as you need, no limitation at all. If you click on profile, then my profile, you can customize your basic information if needed. And there is another cool addition of xCloud is the team management feature. You can create an entirely new team and set a totally different servers and sites for the team. Or you can click on your existing team, then add a new member to the team and give him some user roles and permissions and set an invitation to him. Of course, you can switch between teams when needed. Next comes the integration. As you have already seen, you can migrate from other servers to xCloud. And here, you can also add new server providers. xCloud also has Cloudflare integration, which is a popular CDN network for seamless web experience. And that's cool. And when it comes to storage providers, xCloud can connect with DigitalOcean Spaces, Vulture Object Storage, or any S3 compatible storage service as well. Here goes the billing and payment summary. As this is a test server, I don't have any payment method set up, but you will get an idea of what your current plan is costing you and what will be the cost of next month. Also, you will see a breakdown of your all-time billing history to determine your next business decision. And this is very important. That makes xCloud not only just a server manager, but also your business companion. All right, that's pretty much everything in xCloud right now. Not to mention xCloud has also both light and dark mode. And I'm sure that the team behind xCloud is going to make this software a big and massive one within just a couple of months, as their roadmap is very promising. So that is xCloud hosting management. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any question or thoughts, or if I'm missing anything, just comment below because we literally check every single comment. By the way, if you want to pick up xCloud, I got the link down below with xCloud lifetime discount deal. Go check it out and hurry up because this deal won't last forever.